You don't want to have to be switching your layers any more than necessary. Get AutoCAD to switch those layers for you as much as possible. Okay, let's go through a bunch of these. Uh, layer translator, lay walk, lay merge. Let's go through a bunch of fun layer commands. Okay, so you are in a situation where you have a set of layers because you were following a standard, and then someone comes in and changes the standard. Now we're going to name the layers this, and we're going to give them these colors and these line types. Or you're working with a different company or whatever the situation is, all right? But you already have some drawings with the old layer names. What a drag. So how are you and what are you going to do? You're going to go into each one of those and just change the names of each of the layers and change the colors. There's a very cool command called lay trans. It's been around a long time. You guys know lay trans? It doesn't have a very good agent because a lot of people don't know about it. He's been in there a long time and people forgot about him. Lay trans. Lay trans allows you to translate one set of layers to a different set of layer names. Okay, so the trick is you do have to have a drawing file that has the right layer names with the right properties though, okay? So you're going to have to go to the trouble to make that one drawing, which you'd have to do anyway, that has all the right layer names and all the right colors and all the, you know, the line types and everything, all right? So this is my current drawing. Let's say it's got the wrong layer names. This new company has different standards. So they gave me a drawing file with the right standards. So I'm going to open that drawing. I'm going to load. I'm just going to pick a drawing. Let's pick that one. OK, I'm going to close that guy. Oh, you won't let me do it because I'm in a dialog box. All right, so on the right-hand side, right-hand side, you're right. These are the right layers, these are the wrong layers on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map them. I'm going to say, okay, so this layer here is really supposed to be this layer here, and then I'm going to map it. And this layer here is really supposed to be called this layer here. I'm just making this up. I'm going to map it. Okay, this is the drag, right? The first time you do this, so boring. First time, very boring, very tedious. You're going to go through, you're going to map them all, map, and when you're finished, you hit translate at the bottom. If you're ever going to do this again, don't hit translate. Before you hit translate, if you know you're going to have to do this on many drawings or even one more drawing, you're going to come down here and you're going to say save. And then you're going to save this to a file. It has an extension to DWS to save it somewhere where you can find it. And then the next time you come into the lay trans command, you're going to load that DWS file. As soon as you load that DWS file, it automatically maps all those layers together for you really fast. You don't have to do that again because that's boring. It maps them all together. You hit translate, you go on your way. It takes you two seconds. You load it, it maps it, you go. You load it, it maps it, you go. Does that make sense? Lay trans, write it down. It's easy to figure out. She's thinking about that feature that's not in AutoCAD again. <laughs> She's thinking, why do I have to listen to all this AutoCAD stuff all day long? I could be playing with my toys. This is a, ter this is a terrible day. All right, what else have we got? Laywalk. You guys know Laywalk, right? I will use the icon because it's cute. It's this little icon here with little feet. So you want to see what's on each layer. That's easy. Go into lay walk. You just click on the individual layers, right? Don't go in and turn them all off one at a time. That's easy. Right? That's lay walk. It also does a little reverse where you can actually click on this icon on the top. You can window a bunch of layers, window a bunch of layers, and we'll show you which layers you window. Another option. It's lay walk. You guys know copy two layer? It allows you to kill two birds with one stone. You know, if you ever wanted to make a copy of an object and put it on a different layer. Usually you do two steps. But there's a command that lets you do them both at the same time. Called copy two layer, which I believe is right next to, right here. Copy objects to new layer. Do you guys see that? Copy two layer that allows me to, let's go ahead and I'll just pick a few of these guys. So I make a copy of them. It wants to know what layer I want it to make it to go to. Now, if you know the name of the layer, you can type it out, or you can pick an object on the destination layer. I'm going to be lazy. 
When you pick an object on the destination layer, I want them to go on this layer. And then it asks you where you want them to go. I want them to go up here somewhere. So you're copying them. You can copy them right on top of each other if you want. Or you can copy them somewhere else. And you're putting them on a different layer. Okay? All at one time. Okay. How about lay merge? I have several layers that I want to put on to one layer. Have you ever had that? I want to condense many layers into one layer. That's called lay merge. So right now I have three plant layers, and I want to just have one. So I'm going to take this one, plant, shrub, something, and this one, highlight both of them. I'm going to do a right click, and I'm going to say merge selected layers to, and it says what's the target layer? What layer do you want those guys to be merged onto? I want them to go on the plants layer. Those two layers are going to end up on the plants layer. I'm going to say OK. And it comes back and it says the selected layers will be merged onto layer plants. It should really say those other two layers are about to be deleted or removed from your life. OK, this is not nearly strong enough. Those guys are gone if you say OK, if you say yes. Yes. Okay, so those layers are gone. All the objects from those two layers have now been put on the plants layer. Make sense? And those layers are gone. Okay. Gone. That's lay merge. All right, let's go back over to our PowerPoint. I got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. All right, I'll do set by layer. I'll do set by layer. And set by layer is one of my favorites. That's this guy. No, let's do it here. All right, so um, take a look at this drawing file. If I drop this list down, I want you to notice, can you see all those layers are gray, which you would never do, right? That's bad. But you can see all the layers are gray, correct? If I zoom in, you can see that all the objects are not gray. There are, here's some cyan-colored objects. Here's some magenta objects. So that, can you see that? So that means that somebody was bad. Somebody broke a rule. Those objects are not by layer. Back, 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 back. Let me see. Let me check it out. I'm going to come over here. And if I select this object, oh, not in the viewport. Don't you hate that? If I select that object, I come over here to properties. It says it has a color and it has a line type. Oh, they broke two rules. They should be by layer. They're not. I can fix that pretty easily. That wouldn't be that big of a deal. That's all right. I can fix that. If I come over here and I select this as a block, if I pick this block and I come over here to properties, it says, wait, it says it's by layer. Like you're lying. That means that something in the block was not by layer. That's even worse. Now I've got a nested block. I've got issues inside of the block that are a problem. And now that's more of a problem for me to fix. That's a pain to fix, and now I'm cranky. As I told you, I'm lazy, and that's going to take a lot of time to fix it. So, hopefully you guys know this command. I love this command. It's one of my favorite commands. If you have people that don't understand that whole by layer thing, you're going to love this command. This command is called set by layer. It's a fabulous command. I'm going to come in here. Actually, I'm just going to say, oh, I want you to fix everything. Highlight everything. Change by block to by layer? Yes. Include the blocks, include all those nested blocks? Yes, absolutely. And if I zoom in, you will see that everything is beautiful, everything is great, everything has been changed to by block. With just a simple one command, very easy steps, and I didn't have to hurt anybody. Nobody was hurt. All right. Back to the PowerPoint. And then last but not least, there's a command called laydell. You guys know the laydell command? Ever have that one layer you want to get rid of, and it won't let you delete it no matter what? You go in the purge command, you try to get rid of it, and it won't go away. You turn off all the other layers except for that one layer, and there's nothing on that layer. You don't know why you can't get rid of it. Get rid of it. There's a lot of reasons why you can't get rid of a layer. Could be somebody just went in and put like a space, or could be referenced in a block somewhere. There's a lot of reasons. And it's not like that layer is really hurting you or slowing you down, right? It's not really that big of a problem. But that's not the point. The 
point is you want to have control and you want that layer to die a terrible death and go away and let you be in charge and AutoCAD's in charge and you're not. And it's frustrating, right? So that's where Laydell comes in. Laydell is a fabulous command. Laydell is happy to delete any layer and remove it from your life. There are only two layers that Laydell will not delete. What are those two layers? Death points and zero, that's right. Those guys are off limits. But any other layer, it doesn't care. So one of the reasons you can't delete a layer often is because it's referenced in the block. So if it turns out that that layer is referenced in the block, it will actually open up that block definition and rip that layer out of that block and close that block back up and redefine the block and delete that layer. Now that is power. Just remember that where there is power, there is danger. Okay, all right, anyway. Laydell, it's a great command try. Maybe you guys aren't as, don't get as upset about that as I do. Maybe you guys are more mellow here. 